followed by people and they close the highway immediately and they when they close the highway they immediately they come with me with guns and they took me and they put me in my car and they took me to the unknown place uh, nine days I cannot see anything and put my chin in my hand of course they uh, they hit me from the first day they broke my nose and all my teeth by hammer I'm still paying for that because also they, they hit my back and uh, mm. they one of the discs been, been broken and I went to the gym. And I, I'm not uh, now showing myself that I'm a hero when I talk about this because actually I spent uh, after kidnap five years, I don't remember that I went to sleep two hours. And still I cannot, uh, ten now I cannot sleep if, if there are no water beside me because they let me without water four days. And after four days, that's been the fifth, they told me, uh, do you need water? I actually, I told them, what for? So, but I remember when I, everyone just passed in my mind in, the, in those days, for example, my sisters, my friends, the, the first thing when they just passed in my mind, just they say, Father, do you need water? So this is important because I really was really looking for water. But they let, they let me without water four days. And mm. the, the, that's mean after four days they offer me water. In any case, uh, uh, it was a really very hard time to me. But this gave me very power. I've been strong by this experience because I understand people what they are talking about when they talk about this. Mm. That's why I never accept to violent in any kind of violent it is, especially with kids, with anyone. Because I don't want to the pain to transfer from generation to generation. Even during the day, actually, when I was kidnapped for nine days, it, during, the, during the day, the kidnapper, they will ask me for advice to them on problem, but during the night, they beat me, the same people. For example, during the night, uh, they took me downstairs, and they, they switch on TV, and they choose a channel, a Quran channel, and make the voice uh, louder just to show it to the people around, to the neighbor, to say, look how they are, uh, you know, believe in, uh, they are believers, okay, very strong, and uh, they listen to the ch uh, Quran channel during all the night. But it's when they, uh, why they do that? They, because they, they thought when they pit me, I will be shouting and not let the, the other people. But actually they stopped this because I never shout. And they told me why you are not shouting. I say, what for? If I shout, well, what they will, you will stop to not beat me. They say no. Mm. I remember it was after six days when they broke this by hammer, okay? And they when they broke the first one, and they told me, we have all the night, and you have many teeth. They told me why you are. They told me that many people when we we cut them, they were you know beggars for for life but why you are not I remember I told them it's a depend because you don't understand what's mean life and death to us there are no end but to you there's end my friends they were a good help for me mm -hmm. And I never uh, hidden my actually feeling. I say mm. this is what I don't like. This is what. Many times I stop people ask me what happened, like are doing now. In the five, the first five years, anyone start to ask me, say please don't ask me because I hate the questions. I use my several time, many hundreds time with pistol and try to answer. And I, when I refuse, they pit me for that. They use cigarette. They use I know what they call that one. Lies. I will put that one in there. Uh, uh, yeah. That's uh, so. Uh, in any case, and I stop talk about what happened to me. I don't want to people feel badly about that. Mm. At all. So when, in 2010, when they attacked that the famous church in Baghdad, and they could they killed two from. Uh, our friends, two priests, one of them he was my, my student in the Pitti Seminary. But when I meet the people where they were survival, 
I immediately understand what they are talking about. I know that what that means when they go to sleep and they let the TV on, they let all light on, so I understand them. And I ask them, never talk about your story. Never just escape. Go back to the same place, to the same church, and where you've been there, just go and lay down there, and you have to re reconstruction yourself. This is the reconstruction yourself, this is will heal you. When, I, when I'm being kidnapped, I never run, run away from Baghdad. I also spent a lot of time in Baghdad. Mm -hmm. And after a while, when I made my, my surgery, I, I went back to Baghdad. And many people, they told me that you are crazy. I say, yes, better to be crazy. It's good to be crazy. It's better to be, not to be die. Because when people, when people just, they run away, they never feel that they are still alive. They will die. Mm. And... This is also grace, you have to accept that.